played again. Um, the records are going thick and fast, and more to the point, the points are piling up. Yes, um, another great night at home. Obviously, four from four, we're, we're really making it fortress, and every win at the minute is crucial to getting us into that quarter-final spot, which is the ultimate aim. So many performances to talk about, not least yours, which we'll talk about in a minute, but... Uh, Chris Lynn, again, the first player in history to score two 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 twenty hundreds for Northamptonshire. Yeah, look, um, he's been outstanding since he's been here. You know, as I said before, on and off the field, but ultimately on the field, which is where it counts, is he's putting in. Um, I think he's failed once since he's been here, and he's, he's been outstanding. Can't talk highly enough of him, um, and he's really put us in good positions to be able to, you know, perform the way we have. I wonder if he's ever batted with a runner before. It didn't look as though he had. Certainly the first ball when he hit one and, and set off and probably was actually quicker than Ben Curran if he was his runner. I was going to say, when he sprinted back for his second, when he thought he was out of the crease, I'd have probably sent him off if I was their captain and said, you don't need a runner. But, um, yeah, he, I mean, it kind of helped us in a way because he thought, well, you know, I can't run, I need to try and hit sixes and he managed to just keep hitting sixes. So, um, yeah, as I say, he was outstanding um, tonight and it's great to see him fire him. What is the problem with the fitness issue? Uh, he's, ca- he's struggling with a bit his calf. He has had a niggle for a couple of couple of games now, but you know it's kind of came at the right time in terms of we've got a week until the next game for him to get that right. And like I say, the way he sprinted back for that too, it can't can't be that bad. <laughs> it's astonishing though. You look at the records. Obviously, statistics can tell you you know something and nothing, but the sixth highest total that Northampton have made in T20 cricket. Three of those six have been uh, this season on this ground. Um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that. You're, I mean, I am a stats man, but you've got me covered. Um, yeah, but like I say, we're, we're batting extremely well and Chris Lynn's been a huge part of that. Um, and being able to put the performances on the board like that is, is giving the bowlers, it's making it slightly easier, but they're coming out here and you know they're being positive and, and looking to take wickets as well, um, rather than getting too defensive. And yeah, everything just seems to be clicking at the minute and you know we need to make sure that momentum lasts. Tom Taylor, by his own admission, three slightly sticky games with the ball at the start of the campaign. Bounced back in form, four wickets the other night, and three tonight, including two in an over, which basically settled the match. Yeah, like, it, like I say, his, his own admission, he was probably a little bit short first couple of games, um, but it, it could be tough going from six weeks championship cricket and, and straight in. Maybe took him a few games to get going, but the last few games has been excellent in terms of taking wickets um, and doing his job. And, and taking wickets, it stems the runs as well. Um, so yeah, he's been excellent. Everyone kind of has been nailing their roles um, that we spoke about at the beginning of the comp, and you know that's that's the most pleasing thing really. Talking about nailing roles, a couple of substantial innings from you in the last two games, then nice little fifer, career best. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I wasn't really expecting the fifer, but yeah, nice to get some runs. Um, first couple of games, I mean, I was coming in, in like the 17th over after watching them blast the ball to all parts. So it's. In a weird way, it's been nice to get in early. Obviously, we don't want the early wicket, but it's nice to get in early and spend some time in the middle. And it's obviously nice to chip in, and I feel like it's been a real team effort so far. You know, different people are chipping in when it's needed, um, which is a sign of a good team. And you know, we're not relying on one man, which is good. Eleven points to make games. We'll say a bit of a break coming up now. Your, your sense of how the group's starting to shape up? Yeah, I mean, it's there's some strong teams. Um, some of the Test match grounds, they're strong teams, but. You know, we've just got to keep picking up points um, and like our, our aim at the beginning of the conference was to make the quarterfinals and that's still our aim now so ultimately keep trying to pick up the point, points and, and get a quarterfinal. And whilst we get obviously very much uh, enmeshed with points and, uh, and that sort of side of it, come to the ground on a night like this and it was just terrific to see everybody enjoying themselves. Yeah, um, you know, after the Jubilee weekend the crowds have been a little bit down on what we'd hoped, but you know, having won four from four at home, looking forward to next Friday. Um, hearing there's a few more in, and hopefully we can have a few more walk-ins and make it real, real loud night.